move on to this. You know, I have an old Lenovo ThinkPad X220 lying around, but now I've decided I want to restore it back to the factory original Windows 7 installation. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go, we're on the laptop. So we got our USB stick right here that we're gonna plug into the computer and we're gonna turn it on and spam that F12 key. I know you can just see my arm at the moment, but trust me, I'm spamming that F12 key. Okay, here we go. So first, let's see what specs we're working with. All right, an i5-2520M, four gigabytes of RAM, and it looks like a Samsung um, drive. Nice. So we're gonna boot off the USB. Uh, yeah so now this is loading so now let's cut to the installer all right here we go we're in the installer so uh, yup English looks good next yup I accept uh, yup that's my recovery media select the recovery medium yeah that's the recovery media I want to restore the hard drive to its factory default state uh, if you click yes, it will be lost and this one will be recovered to you, select the state. Yes. Alright, now this is restoring. So let's start a time lapse. Windows 7 Home Premium. Let's set the country to UK. Next, set my username to Whale and set the computer name to just thinkpad x220. No password. Uh, yup. And yup. Yup. Next, uh, use recommended. There's, there is no updates anyway. Set the time zone. Next, setup will continue after restarting your computer. All right, let's leave it to do its thing. Setup is preparing your computer for first use. Ooh, look at that custom background. Preparing your desktop. I just want to see what's going on. Cancel. Please wait. Looks like it's setting a theme. Okay, Lenovo, welcome. Buy the 2010 Microsoft Office release now and save up to 50% off. Uh, nope. And I do not want my PC protected by Norton. Continue. Uh, yep, continue. Finish. Continue closing setup. How many times did- Oh my, I like this background. Setting up personal- Okay, it's gone pretty fast. Oh. It's gone. Yeah, I'm on- Oh, yes! Finally! Yeah, this battery is dead. Alright, we're just gonna remove the power manager here. However, we're not done yet. We still need this USB stick. So we're going to stick it back into the computer. There we go. And, aha! Open it up. And here is the program we need to run. This is the Wi-Fi driver. Because apparently the Wi-Fi driver that comes with this, um, recovery media does not work come on yep lenovo japan whatever i've used this before no next i accept next next install and i've been using the little pointing nub for the whole video just for fun i could use the Textured trackpad, which oh my, this this trackpad isn't actually that bad. 
So anyway, while that's installing, we're just going to do some customization stuff. So personalize. So let's go to the theme. theme. Just enable AI. Nice. Then we're going to set the background to this black background. And set this to black. Save changes. Okay, that's a pretty good theme. Now we're going to do some taskbar properties. And this is but that's not done. Okay, use small icons. Top. And combine the taskbar is full. And let's also set the um this to small. And drag that over to the bottom. All right. Yep, that's my theme. Oh, wait, I forgot. I need to remove the thick vintage toolbox. Oh. Okay. The toolbar is now disabled. No, I don't want to see notifications. Is that all it came up for? Right, anyway, let's just see. While the Wi-Fi driver is installing, let's see what we got. So we got everything. Let's play some purple place. So let's connect to our Wi-Fi. Uh, connect using the security key instead. Okay, yes, hide characters. No. Connect. And let's close out the setup wizard. Oh, come on. Uh, yep, this is a home network. All right, we are connected. And we got our... Wait. It actually goes... Okay, nice. Uh, no. So, to prove that we are actually connected to the internet... Flip. Let's just go to... Uh, Google.com. Google can load on pretty much any browser. Yep, there we go. Anyway, let's do this final cake because we're already here. <laughs> One game. Nice. So yeah, that's it. We have successfully restored the Lenovo ThinkPad X220 back to factory settings and also played some games and installed the Wi-Fi driver. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye!